In this proportion, we are trying to find the value of n. We should remember that when two fractions or ratios are set equal to each other, when you cross multiply, you should come up with the same number. For example, 32 times n should be the same thing as 24 times 12. So let's set up an algebraic equation expressing this fact. 32 times n should be the same thing or equal to 12 times 24. Now, all we have to do to figure out what n is, is to solve for n or isolate the variable of n. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the left-hand side of our equal sign, and we are going to divide 32 by itself. In doing so, that is going to give us positive 1, or positive 1n, on the left-hand side of our equation. But to balance our equation, we are also going to divide the right-hand side of our equation by 32 as well. Now notice for the numerator, or 12 times 24, I did not multiply them together. By keeping them separate, it will be easier to cancel out those individual factors with 32. For example, 8 is a common factor of 24 and 32. So I'm going to cancel the 24 and 32 together and divide both of them by the common factor of 8. 8 can be divided into 24 three times, and 8 can be divided into 32 four times. We can cancel even further by dividing 4 into itself once and 4 into 12 three times. This leaves us with 3 times 3 at the top, which gives us 9. And on the bottom, we have 1 times 1, which is 1. And of course, 9 over 1 is an improper fraction, and that can be simplified to 9 wholes. So we would say in this proportion that n has a value equal to 9.